Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. If you've ever tried to sneak up on a butterfly to get a closer look, then you know how quickly they can fly away. So Stephanie Berlin is about to take us to a special farm in High Point where they actually breed monarch butterflies. Come with us to the All of Flutter Butterfly Farm. The beauty of the monarch butterfly is majestic. With orange and black markings, they are a marvelous sight to behold. And there's one place in North Carolina where they not only produce these splendid creatures, but they share them too. Go ahead, baby. Fast walk back to Kelly. Folks enter the greenhouse at the All of Flutter Butterfly Farm in High Point with speed to see how close they can get to hundreds of whimsical wings. So, with sugar-soaked cotton pads in hand, the art of attraction begins. Quiet and calm, go all the way up to the butterflies and tenants while they're on the flowers on the wall. Gently scoop them up like you're scooping up ice cream out of a bowl. Now the feeding frenzy has started and new friendships are forming fast. See his little proboscis? See it's on the pad there? Then, just as a new colorful companion greets Lindsay Plaster and her sister Megan, another interested insect makes an appearance. It has a different kind of color to it. I like it. Hold still, Lindsay. You just never know where they'll land. James Estes knows that all too well. I've never seen a butterfly before, and I feel it. <laughs> Feeling or feeding, magical moments abound. You get to see butterflies, drink the sugar water and everything. And I really like it because the butterflies are attaching on me and they like my shoes a lot and they land on there. While these beauties seem to flutter and flip-flop between their stopping spots, they do have a list of items that stir their senses in addition to the sweet stuff. Usually purple, white, yellow, orange, or red. Um, our butterflies really enjoy hair bows um, of all colors, and they like blonde and redheads just because they can see that color better. So it's no surprise that two-year-old Caitlin Cody is capturing their attention. Now they say you should be wearing bright colors in order for the butterfly to land on you. I, I don't have the bright colors, but I did put in some hairspray today and they say that will also attract the butterflies to you. It's true, these fanciful flyers are adored, but the caterpillars that help create these splendid species get none of the credit. They first take shape as a tiny egg on a milkweed plant and then they get to work. All they do is eat. They grow 10,000 times their size in two weeks. Soon, a lime green, gold-threaded transformation tube is formed. It's great, all the, the setup of the chrysalis, and it's, I mean, the great for the kids to see up close. From that suspended state to one of free flight is what fascinates Hannah Agee. It's the metamorphosis, you know, like the complete change from a, they like two completely different animals, you know. I think, I think that's what makes it so interesting. What's that caterpillar making now? The show Nora Kammer puts on to uncover that process is not only educational, but fun for everyone. They spin a really tight cocoon, so tight that when they start to grow and turn into moths, they start to squish each other. The audience gets involved displaying the differences between a moth's cocoon and a butterfly's chrysalis. One, two, three, bring up! Then they can all watch the royal makeover of the monarch. So we have to give our beautiful butterfly. <laughs> and Trey wasn't the only young man sporting a smile. <laughs> I wouldn't expect a guy to like enjoy stuff like this all the time, but it's, it's fun to be around him and stuff. From April to early October, the Ala Flutter Farm sparkles, but that remarkable splendor is soon stunted. The ones that are here spring and summer will live to be about two weeks old because as soon as they're born, they begin to mate and lay eggs. The ones that are genetically inclined to migrate live to be about six months old. That migration can ultimately take them to Mexico where the cycle of life begins again. 
For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Stephanie Borland. All of Flutter is located at 7850B Kleinard Farms Road in High Point. They're open through October 8th with family tours from 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Saturday and 3 p.m. Sunday or upon request at any time for parties of 20 or more. For more information, visit their website at allofflutter.com or give them a call at 336-454-5651. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.